Peter Hoffer from uh, Central Office here at Warsaw Community Schools, and I brought one of my favorite books with me here today. And it's my favorite book because of the author that helped write it. This book is called Your Life Matters, and it's by a, a gentleman named Chris Singleton. And I've gotten to know Chris very well here over the last couple of years. And Chris has actually come and been a uh, just a magnificent speaker for Warsaw Community Schools. He spoke to our high school students this last year. But he wanted to make sure that his message got out for elementary students as well. And, and his biggest message is, your life matters. Have you ever had a day where you just feel kind of a little bit down, where, where again, you're walking around and maybe you had a hard day at lunch or at recess or in the classroom, and you're just thinking, you know what, does anybody really care about me? You know, does my life matter? Am I impacting other people? So, so Chris took this story of some of the same feelings that, that he had as a young kid and some of the same feelings that some of the most historical people ever in America had as well, questioning, you know, how am I making a difference in the world that I live in? So I want to read this book to you here today. It has some great pictures in it, so I'll try to stop and, and show the illustrations as we go along here. So it's called Your Life Matters by Chris Singleton, illustrated by Taylor Barron. And again, there's some really bright colors that we can see that go along with this as well. Headlines glow, sirens wail, a question presses in the dark. Does my life matter? Sometimes when it's dark outside, it gets a little bit scarier, doesn't it? Sometimes we're thinking, you know what, things might seem just a little bit more down than what they really are. Heads turn, eyes shift. A world's an invisible place. Does my life matter? Once again, have you ever felt like you're walking along and just nobody even notices you sometimes? Doors slam, ground slides, the future seems dim. Does my life matter? You ever feel that way when you're working on some schoolwork sometime and you can't get something right? I think that's kind of what this girl's going through as well. Yes, oh child, your life matters more than you can possibly ever know. From the tips of your hair to the lengths of your toes, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. This is where we start going into some of the historical figures that probably wondered whether their lives really mattered or not. Your eyes matter for they can see where others see a wall. And this person that's right here, this is actually Harriet Tubman. And you know, there's a, there's a great little history part in the back of this book, and it says, Harriet Tubman, nicknamed Grandma Moses, helped around 70 slaves escape to freedom. Despite facing low odds and ever-present danger, her record was incredible. Not a single escaped slave in her charge was lost uh, in his or her flight to freedom and that was back in the 1800s. So that's Harriet Tubman. So Harriet Tubman's life definitely mattered. Your hands matter, for they can be the shovels that unearth the glorious new future. And this picture here is of our first black president inside the United States, Barack Obama. Barack was elected the first black president of the United States. Prior to his service in government, he worked as a community organizer in Chicago, where he fought to improve job training and housing. Your mind matters, for it can probe every depth of mystery itself. This picture right here is of one of the most famous mathematicians of all time. Her name was Katherine Johnson, and Katherine graduated from high school by the age of 14. Could you imagine that? Graduating by the age of 14? And from college by the age of 18. Her remarkable math skills led to a job at NASA where she helped calculate the trajectory for Alan Shepard's space flight, the first American in space, and for the Apollo 11 flight to the moon. Your voice matters, for it can carry across generations and resound with the ring of truth. This illustration right here is of a gentleman named Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. helped the civil rights movement that eventually brought about the Civil Rights Act of 1964. He used his voice to preach freedom and taught others that nonviolent activism could bring about change. Sadly, Martin Luther King Jr. was assassinated when he was just 39 years old. Your heart matters, for it can be the balm that heals the deepest wounds. Have you ever had a friend that's come up beside you and just given you a hug 
or said, you know what, it's going to be okay, or just even notices you that day, sometimes that makes everything change inside of the way that your feelings are. The person in that illustration is somebody named Oprah Winfrey. Oprah was a girl. Her family was so poor that sometimes she had to wear dresses made from potato sacks. After winning a special speech contest, she was given a scholarship to college and eventually rose to become one of the most famous talk show hosts in history. Oprah is known for her kindness and generosity to others. Your words matter, for they can be the thunder that shakes the very foundation of the earth. This is an illustration of somebody named Maya Angelou. I had the privilege of hearing Maya Angelou speak in person here a couple years ago, and she's one of the most famous poets of all time. Maya used her gift to pen and speak out on racism and teach about identity and family. Her poems and autobiographies are read all over the world. At President Bill Clinton's inauguration, she delivered her most famous poem yet, On the Pulse of the Morning, and encouraged listeners to fight to make a better future. Your courage matters, for it can show the world uh, that right is right, even in the face of the ugliest and darkest hatred. This is probably one of my favorite historical figures of all time. This is Jackie Robinson, the African-American who integrated baseball back in 1947. Jackie Robinson, the first black player for the Major League Baseball team, Jackie faced tremendous opposition and ridicule from the players who thought that black people didn't belong in Major League Baseball. But Jackie's courage, skill, and determination not to fight back won the entire country over. Your strength matters, for it has the power to fight or to forgive or to rewrite the very stars. This is an illustration of somebody named Muhammad Ali. Considered one of the greatest boxers of all time, Muhammad Ali was kind out of the ring as he was fierce in it. He is said to have never refused an autograph and was known to give generously to many causes. One sport magazine named him the greatest athlete of the 20th century. In that same picture we have in 1998, uh, Tegla became the first African-American woman to hold the record for the fastest run marathon. She used her influence to create peace marathons where the members of different tribes in her native Kenya run together to promote peace instead of tribal fighting. So you can see all of these people that at one time when they were your age questioned many of those same things. So rewrite those stars, child. Sketch your dreams high in the heavens. We are with you, and when the world feels upside down, we will remind you again and again that your life matters. Boys and girls, thanks again for joining me today. Um, I, I think out of this, again, you know what? We all have doubts in life. We all have times where we feel just a little bit down at times and, and wonder if other people care about us or or just what, what is the purpose? What's the bigger purpose that we have? Um, but again, inside of our mission statement here with Warsaw Community Schools, a big part of that is enriching the lives of others. And so my challenge for you today is when you have an opportunity to lift somebody up that's around you, you know what, telling them that they matter goes an awful long way. Hey, thanks for letting me share one of my favorite books. And uh, Chris also has another book, both this book and his other book are actually in your elementary library. So hope you have a great day and thanks again.